Welcome everyone to Back to the Barn. Today we're traveling to Norway, the land of snow-capped mountains and deep fjords, where nature isn't just a masterpiece. It's the cradle of the world's largest salmon farming industry. Every year, Norway produces over 1.53 million tons of salmon, accounting for more than 50% of the global Atlantic salmon supply. With a total export value of $11.9 billion in 2023, Norwegian salmon isn't just a valuable source of nutrition. It's a treasure bringing prosperity to the nation. But what makes Norway the ideal place to cultivate this legendary fish? Norwegian salmon isn't just food. It's a story of harmony between nature, science, and human dedication. Join us as we uncover their extraordinary journey from the cold, oxygen-rich waters of the Atlantic Ocean to luxurious dining tables worldwide. The salmon farming industry in Norway is renowned not only for its massive production, but also for its rigorous, modern, and environmentally friendly practices. Let's head back to the barn, or in this case, the fjords, to explore how it all begins. The process starts with high-quality eggs collected from healthy female salmon. These eggs are carefully gathered and meticulously sorted using feathers to remove any that don't meet the standards. The selected eggs are transferred to specialized incubation tanks where clean, fresh water and a gentle water flow are continuously maintained. Within 30 to 60 days, the embryos develop into eyed eggs, a critical stage where the eggs become stronger and less sensitive to external factors. After hatching, the young salmon, called elevens, carry a yolk sac that serves as their natural source of nutrition for the first few weeks of life. Once the yolk sac is depleted, the young salmon enter the fry stage and begin feeding on small, nutrient-rich pellets. They're raised in low-density freshwater tanks to reduce stress and optimize growth. After this stage, the juvenile salmon are transferred to rearing ponds for further development. By autumn, when they reach a size of 13 to 15 centimeters, they're transported from freshwater facilities to seawater cages. These cages are located in deep ocean waters with clean, oxygen-rich currents, closely simulating the natural conditions of wild salmon. Made from corrosion-resistant materials, the modern cages are placed in areas with strong currents, clean water, and high oxygen levels, creating an ideal environment for healthy growth. The large cage size allows salmon to swim freely, mimicking their natural habitat, which helps maintain water quality and efficiently removes waste. Advanced technologies, such as underwater sensors and surveillance cameras, closely monitor water quality, temperature, and fish behavior, enabling optimal adjustments to the farming environment for rapid growth and high-quality salmon. Automated feeding systems provide nutrient-rich food containing protein, fish oil, and minerals, helping the salmon reach an ideal weight of five to six kilograms. Fish health is regularly monitored in biological measures, such as the use of natural cleaner fish, help eliminate parasites without the need for chemicals. Living conditions are optimized for temperature, salinity, and natural light to reduce stress and disease risk. In these deep sea cages, salmon undergo a crucial growth phase lasting 1.5 to 2 years. When the salmon reach maturity, harvesting is carefully conducted with fresh preservation, adhering to strict food safety standards. This process ensures product quality while protecting the sustainability of aquaculture, meeting the stringent demands of the global market. Immediately after being harvested, the salmon are transported to processing plants in recirculating water tanks to keep them fresh. At the plant, the fish are cleaned, discaled, and eviscerated. The salmon are then thoroughly washed and inspected to ensure quality. After preliminary processing, 
Whole salmon are packaged and stored at low temperatures or frozen immediately to maintain freshness, with the entire process adhering to strict food safety standards. Once processed, the salmon adheres to strict food safety and hygiene standards, allowing it to be exported immediately or further processed into various products based on market demand. At the processing plant, the salmon undergoes a meticulous filleting procedure to ensure top quality. Each salmon, typically weighing five to six kilograms, is inspected for weight and freshness before being cleaned, disguised, and eviscerated. Skilled workers then use specialized knives to remove the head and tail, carefully filleting the meat from the bones with precision to produce clean, boneless fillets while preserving the smooth, delicate texture of the fish. Each salmon yields approximately two to three kilograms of fillet after removing the bones and other unnecessary parts. The fillets are thoroughly inspected to ensure no impurities or bones remain, then washed, rechecked, and cut into portions weighing between 200 to 500 grams, depending on market requirements. These fillets are either vacuum packed or placed in styrofoam boxes and chilled at zero to four degrees Celsius to maintain freshness for seven to 10 days. For long-term preservation, the fillets can be frozen at minus 18 degrees Celsius or lower, ensuring quality during transportation to global markets. A portion of the salmon fillets is exported directly, while the rest is transformed into smoked salmon, a delicacy prized for its rich flavor. To produce smoked salmon, fresh salmon weighing between two and four kilograms is selected, filleted, and salted to preserve freshness and impart a distinct taste. The salting process, done either manually or with specialized equipment, ensures a salinity level of at least 3.5% in the brine phase. After salting, the salmon rests, allowing the salt to penetrate evenly, which aids in the drying process. The salmon is then placed in a smoking chamber, where temperature and smoking time are precisely controlled to develop a characteristic outer layer while retaining internal moisture. After smoking, the salmon is cooled and matured for 48 hours to ensure the flavors are evenly absorbed. Finally, the smoked salmon is trimmed, checked for any remaining bones, and sliced before packaging. The finished product, with its distinctive and delicious flavor, can be stored for 10 to 21 days, depending on the quality and processing method. Now let's set sail to the oceans around the world, where approximately 3.6 million tons of sardines are harvested annually, enough to fill an entire stadium. These small but mighty fish, found from the coasts of Morocco to the chilly waters of the Pacific, are a powerhouse of nutrition and a vital part of the marine ecosystem. A single three-ounce serving of sardines provides over 370% of your daily vitamin B12 needs making them a nutritional gem. The story of sardines is a tale of connection between humanity, the oceans, and nature's infinite bounty, showcasing abundance and sustainability in perfect harmony. Sardines are primarily harvested from the wild, thriving in nutrient-rich seas where ocean currents carry vast amounts of plankton, their primary food source. These natural conditions are difficult to replicate in captivity which is why sardine farming remains uncommon. Fishermen target sardines during their spawning and migration seasons from April to October, when they form large shimmering schools, making them easier to harvest. During this time, nutrient-rich waters attract sardines to live and spawn, creating ideal opportunities for fishing. Sardines are caught using methods like gill nets, troll nets, and Percy scenes. Gill nets, a traditional technique used in coastal waters, feature small mesh sizes that encircle and capture sardines as they swim in schools. Troll nets employed by larger vessels enable efficient fishing in deep waters by dragging nets through areas abundant with sardines. Persicines are used when sardines gather in large schools. Fishermen encircle the school with a net and tighten it to harvest the fish. Sardine fishing relies heavily on seasonal cycles and strict regulations to protect marine resources and ensure the species' sustainability. Modern sardine fishing is enhanced by fish-finding radar technology, 
which uses sound waves to pinpoint the exact location, depth, and density of schools beneath the water surface. This technology is particularly useful in low-light conditions or when sardines swim deep, where they're hard to spot with the naked eye. By combining traditional methods with modern tools, fishermen improve efficiency while minimizing risks and challenges, ensuring a sustainable harvest. Preserving sardines on board is critical to maintaining their quality after being caught. Fishermen use crushed ice or ice water to rapidly cool the fish, keeping them at low temperatures to inhibit bacterial growth and preserve freshness. On modern fishing vessels, sardines are stored in refrigerated compartments or freezers at around minus one to four degrees Celsius throughout the journey. Specialized vessels equipped with modern fish pumping systems swiftly transport sardines to the port, reducing direct human contact, lowering histamine levels, and maintaining freshness. At the port, sardines are sorted by size and stored in insulated containers to ensure hygiene and minimize environmental contamination. Canned sardines are widely popular for their convenience and nutritional value, and the modern production process is designed to deliver exceptional quality from harvest to final product, focusing on resource optimization and freshness. At the factory, sardines are automatically cleaned using cold water systems to remove impurities, scales, guts, and other unusable parts. Skilled workers then inspect each sardine for size, freshness, and species classification. The sardines are decapitated, tailed, and gutted using automated machinery under strict supervision to ensure quality. The fish are steamed at high temperatures to retain nutrients, then placed into empty tin cans through automated filling systems ready for distribution. From the fjords of Norway to the oceans of the world, the journeys of salmon and sardines show how agriculture and aquaculture connect us to nature's bounty. That's all for today from Back to the Barn. Join us next time as we explore more stories from the heart of agriculture.